Like how do they look like? They are polygonal cells or round cells with large empty space and the nucleus is pushed towards periphery. So dear students, how does this look like? It looks like the wedding ring. This adipocyte has a large empty cytoplasm with the nucleus pushed towards periphery and because it looks like a wedding ring it is also called a signet ring cell. So this is about the cell present in the adipose tissue. Now let us see where it is present. It is present beneath the skin and also it is present in all the organs in most of the organs and the function of this is the fat acts as insulator. Also, it gives the cushioning effect. So, two major function of this adipose tissue is that it acts as insulator and also it gives cushioning effect. Dear students, coming on to the next important loose connective tissue that is the reticular tissue. that liver has particular shape it has the same shape in all our body take your body or my body the liver has particular shape kidney has particular shape the heart has particular shape how does this organ maintain particular shape this is because of presence of this particular tissue let us know in details about this under all these headings reticular fibers contain Predominantly reticular fibers, reticular connective tissue contains predominantly reticular fibers in the matrix and they don't have much cells. Coming to the location, they are present in organs like liver, spleen and all other internal organs. And what is the function of this? It maintains the structural frameworks of all the organs. So dear students, we have learned that reticular connective tissue has predominantly the reticular fibers and they don't have much cells and the location is that it is present in all the organs and what is the function? It maintains the structural framework of all the organs. This is about loose connective tissue. Apart from these three connective tissue and the loose connective tissue, we have two important connective tissue that is tendons and ligaments. So apart from these three, we have two more important connective tissue. Tendons. Dear students, you, if you are not fat, you can feel cord-like structures here. What are they? Just trace them back towards your elbow. You can feel the bulk of mass and that is the muscle. And this muscle continues as some cord-like structures and trace them forward. Where do they end? They end with the bony structures. So these cord-like structures are nothing but the tendons. What is the function of these tendons? These tendons connect the muscle and the bone. So with the help of the tendon, the muscle is attached to the bone. What is this made up of? This is made up of predominantly the white fibers. Next, coming on to the next connective tissue, the ligament. This ligament which is present in between two bones. It is present predominantly at joints and this fixes two bones together. So again, it helps for motion. Both of these tendons and ligaments, they help in motion. Tendons connect the bone with the muscle and helping for contraction of the muscles uh, during motion and ligaments connects two bones and again it helps for the motions of various parts. This is about the loose connective tissue. Dear students, whatever we have discussed may not be sufficient. For further more details, please refer the textbook and also you can refer the book being published by CHIPS ITJE Bangalore. All the best for your preparation and even for your exams.
Good evening students. This is Bindusar Hosmani from Gulbarga, a faculty from CHIPS IDJE Bangalore. I am here to deliver the knowledge to the doorsteps of your brain and the heart, provided they are open. Dear students, in this session, we shall be discussing about plant and animal tissues. Now dear students, let us learn about the second type of connective tissue that is dense connective tissue. I have already told you that this name dense is because of the density of the matrix. The matrix is hard. Because of this reason this has got the name dense connective tissue. There are two types of dense connective tissue, first the cartilage and the second is the bone. Let us learn about this cartilage. This cartilage has matrix, again the matrix is made up of the ground substance and the fibers and also every connective tissue has got some cells. Let us know about the matrix of this cartilage. The matrix of the cartilage has two components, ground substance and the fibers. The ground substance is made up of a protein called chondrin. And it has predominantly white fibers and the yellow fibers. What are white fibers? They are also called collagen fibers and what are yellow fibers? They are also called elastic fibers. So this connected tissue contains both white fibers and the yellow fibers. This is about the matrix. So matrix has chondrin and both fibers, yellow fibers and white fibers. And also it contains cells and these cells are called chondrocytes. And the place at which these chondrocytes are present are called lacunae. Lacunae are the place, are the sites where these chondrocytes are present. And this is the matrix which you can see. This matrix has ground substance and fibers. Can you see any thread like fibers here? No. We cannot see the thread like fibers even under microscope. Why? This is because the refractive index of both the fibers and the ground substance is the same. So we know in physics that when the refractive index of two medium is the same, then we cannot see them separately. This is the reason why we don't see the fibers in this matrix. You can see a line here. In this diagram, you can see this line. This is a membrane. This is the line depicting the membrane covering the cartilage. So this is called perichondrium. Peri means what? Surrounding. So peri means surrounding and chondrium means the cartilage. So this membrane surrounds the outer layer of the cartilage. That is why it has got the name perichondrium. So dear students, we have learned that this cartilage has matrix and in the matrix the chondrin is present. It's a protein which is present and there are chondrocytes. And these chondrocytes are present at some sites and those sites are called lacunae. And whole of this cartilage is surrounded by a membrane called perichondrium. And one more question to you, where does this chondrin come from? This chondrin is secreted from these chondrocytes. So this chondrocyte secretes Chondrin. This is one of the function of chondrocytes. This is about the structure of or the histology of this cartilage. Where are they present? They are present in the trachea as C-shaped structure. In the trachea you can see a C-shaped cartilage and here it will be covered by the muscle. So trachea and bronchus have C-shaped 
cartilage and the other part is filled up by the muscle again you might have heard about elastic cartilage and collagen cartilage or fibrous cartilage elastic cartilage we call it as elastic cartilage because this particular cartilage predominantly contain elastic fibers whereas cartilage contains both white fibers and yellow fibers but in case of elastic cartilage that cartilage contain predominantly yellow fibers or elastic fibers so where is this present it is present in the larynx in the epiglottis in the pinna and in the eustachian tube it is present in the larynx epiglottis pinna i mean the external ear and eustachian tube you know about this larynx epiglottis and pinna this eustachian tube would not be a familiar word this eustachian tube is nothing but a tube which connect the middle ear and the pharynx and also from this side tube runs from the middle ear of this ear and it connects with the pharynx so it maintains equilibrium between the pressures of the middle ear This is about the function of eustachian tube and this eustachian tube is made up of elastic cartilage. So dear students now we have come to know as to why these cartilages are called elastic cartilage that is because it predominantly contain elastic fibers in the matrix. Dear students before learning this you should know about vertebra. This whole of this vertebral column is made up of bones called vertebrae there are small bones called vertebrae which are arranged one above the other to form a long column and in between these vertebrae small pieces of bone which forms the vertebral column in between these vertebrae a cartilage is present and this cartilage is made up of predominantly collagen fibers or the white fibers and also over this vertebrae we have cartilage and that cartilage is also made up of this fibrous cartilage which is predominantly made up of white fibers this is about the structure component and types of cartilage and what is the function of this the fibrous cartilage helps in bending forwards and backwards and these forms the framework of various structures this is about the cartilage dear students a point to be noted here this perichondrium contains the blood vessels and the nerves but there won't be any blood vessels or the nerves in the main part of this cartilage so whole of this cartilage has no vascular supply or the blood supply whole of this cartilage is a vascular then where it does from where it does it receives oxygen and the nutrients it receives oxygen and the nutrients by diffusion from this perichondrium so the oxygen and the nutrients diffuses from the perichondrium 
This is one of the peculiar characters of the cartilage. This is about the cartilage. Now let us learn about the next type of dense connective tissue that is the bone. The bone forms major weight of the body. It is the one which is responsible for the major weight of the body. The bone is the hard connective tissue and this forms major weight of the body. And this is the one which is responsible for the particular shape of the body. It forms structural framework of the body. Let us learn in detail about the bone. Moving on to the components of this bone, it has matrix and the cells. Talking about the matrix, the matrix is made up of ground tissue called osseine. O S S E I N osseine. And also this contains which fibers? Collagen fibers. So the matrix of the bone contain osseine and collagen fibers. What about the cells? Cells in this bone are called osteocytes or bone cells. These are the three components of the bone tissue. The bone contain osseine as ground tissue and the white fibers are collagen as fibers and it contains the osteocytes. Next, now let us know about the structure of arrangements of these matrix and the cells. The matrix of this bone tissue is arranged in a circular fashion in a circular fashion in the concentric circles. So the osseine or the matrix of the bone tissue is arranged in concentric circles and these concentric circles are called lamellae. So there are many lamellae which constitute one system, one unit and that particular unit is called haversian unit. As you can see here, these are the lamellae made up of the matrix and in the lamellae we have osteocytes and where are they present? Osteocytes are present at some sites which are called lacunae. So lacunae has osteocytes and in the center of this haversian system you can see some canal and these canals are nothing but haversian canal. And what is the function of this? Haversian canal is the one which contain the blood vessels and the nerves. It gives nutrition to the bone tissue. Also, you can see this channel. 